everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we have a Dell Inspiron 14. The exact model is a Inspiron 14 3421. That information can be found right in here on the cover. It says Inspiron 14. But if you want the other exact model, it's at the bottom. It will tell you Inspiron 3421. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can upgrade and or remove or downgrade your RAM for this model. They are really really easy to make it on comparing to other brands and I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace or upgrade. If you want to know your maximum RAM capacity for this laptop or for any laptop or PC, I made a 30 second short video on how you can find out by yourself with no programs required. So before going and asking what's the maximum capacity for this one, I'd rather you guys to see it by yourself and you learn something new. So let check that video, I'll put the link in my video description so you guys can see your max capacity. Based on that, I'm going to go over how you can upgrade or remove. The tools that you're going to need is an screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. And we're going to be using an opening tool. And for opening tool, I'm going to be using a metallic guitar picks. are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And obviously you will need your in a new RAM. You do not need to remove the battery to do this service but if you want to be paranoid you can do it by pulling the triggers away and pull the battery from the back side upward and there you have it. Now we're going to remove the service cover which is right in here. It's been held down by one screw. So go ahead and remove this one tiny screw. All right once you remove the screw all you need to do is to grab this bottom cover and pull it towards yourself and it should release itself about one or two millimeters away and then you just want to lift it up, bring it away. Now, in here you're going to see a big letter that says DIMB, DIMB A. So there's a two RAM DIMBs available in here. This one has only one RAM DIMB occupied. To remove the RAMs, to remove the RAMs are really easy. All you need to do is to pull these two triggers, which is right in here, away from each other. Like that, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle like that and all you need to do is just pull it out in the same 45 degree angle these are ddr3 uh, ram make sure these are low voltage that's why this says pc3l so make sure you have to get that low voltage in order to be compatible with this one to put their new ram in here make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch them right there um, each one of them has one so grab it in 45 degree angle bring it over and I have the camera and it slide right in there and I don't want to push it towards the motherboard I'm pushing it towards the dim and then I'm going to softly push it towards the motherboard and I should hear two soft clicks just like that that means the RAM is in place correctly so if you want to put the new other RAM in so let me grab myself another DDR3 RAM which is right here doesn't have to be the same brand as long as the DDR3 low voltage make sure the notch is matching and slide it all the way in and towards the motherboard and you should hear those clicks and that's how you upgrade or remove the RAM and to remove it pull the triggers away from each other I have my big fingers and the RAM should come out pretty easy upward this one has a little problem with the hinge right here I don't want to release the hinge and it's not releasing it so let me pull it even more there we go there we have it and then you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle somebody tampered with the hinge on this one so it's not actually pulling back nicely but you get the idea now once you put a new ram in here and you power on the laptop and if you don't get any boot screen after five to ten seconds wait and all you, I would suggest you guys to do, remove the RAM, put the new RAM in the DIM1, power on the laptop. Once you get the screen, power it up quickly and place the old RAM in the DIM B and power on and wait 5 to 10 seconds. You should get the boot screen. Once you got the RAM installed, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, place it in an offset position and then you want to slide it all the way back like that. Okay. There we have it. And the last thing would be to put the bottom screw right in the middle. And don't forget to put the battery. Again, the battery goes in the connector downside first, and then you put the back end all the way down. 
I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys out. If it did, please click that like and thumbs up. And if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.